so now we're going to build the wind power plant and we're going to need some tape for the propellers, the propeller blades and we're also going to need something, perhaps a bottle to put the wind power plant in so that it stays off the ground. You see there's a water bottle right there. The, the smaller the, the hole in the top, the better, so that an axle can fit snugly into it. This is a little too big, but it'll work for now. And we're going to start with two large frames and one small frame. So we're going to start by putting the large frames like this into the small frame. So leaving one row empty. Then we're going to take two anchor pins, put one right here and another one right here in the two large frames. Then we're going to take a couple of shaft plugs, stick one shaft plug right here, and we're going to stick a couple more shaft plugs on the bottom side of the small frame. So we're going to stick one right here, so just to the side of where the large frame fits in. Another one right here. Another one right here. And the last one right here. So we have four of them underneath and we have one right there. Now we're going to take one long rod. Notice that there is one side that the hole is closer to the end than another side where the first hole is farther from the end. So this is the side that we want facing up. And then right here, we're going to stick two anchor pins. All right, so now we're done with image number one and we're gonna move on to image number two. We're going to need first one long axle and one short axle to do A. And for the long axle, the stop is going to be on the right side. We're going to stick a small sprocket wheel on the right side right here till it hits the stop and it can't go anymore. And I know the image shows that there should be another small gear right next to the small sprocket wheel. Uh, although I penciled it out because it actually doesn't need to be there and it, and it doesn't fit there. So we're only going to have this small sprocket wheel. Then we're going to put one washer, then another washer, and then two small gears. All right, and then we're going to leave this aside for a moment. And on the small axle, we're going to leave the stop on the right side. We're going to stick a, a small gear and then a washer. And we're going to leave this aside for a moment. Now for B, the second one, we're going to need a long axle. We're going to leave the stop on the right side. We're going to push a big gear all the way to the stop. Then we're going to put an axle stop, a small gear, and a washer. And now we're going to move on to C. So we're going to need two medium axles and we're going to have a stop on the left side. We're going to stick another axle stop on it. We're going to put a washer. We're going to put one large gear, then one small gear, and then a small green sprocket. And then on the other side, we're going to leave the stop on the left side. We're actually not going to put this small gear that's in the picture because again I found that it works better without it. And we're just going to put two spools 
on the very end where there's no stop. So that's C. Okay, so now that we have A, B, and C, we can move on to image number three and start putting all of this stuff together.